Hi everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate sine to the n where n is an even power, okay? So hopefully by now you, hopefully, yeah, yeah, I would say hopefully you know that you can integrate odd powers of sine by just simply factoring out one sine and then rewriting sine, you're going to have an even power of sine and rewriting that in terms of cosine, okay? 1 minus cosine squared to the power of something. That is a strategy you can use to integrate odd powers of sine. And you're going to see that it's slightly harder to integrate even powers of sine, but I'm going to show you how you can do it, okay? It's actually really easy. So there are a couple of trigonometric formulas that you need to know, and I'm going to show, show them to you now. So these are the double angle or half angle formulas, and they allow you to rewrite when... So yeah, I'm just going to show them to you, and you're, you're going to see what they allow you to do. So one of the formulas is this one, sine of 2 theta, this will be equal to 2 times sine theta times cosine theta, okay? Now you can verify this is true because this is the same sine 2 theta is the same as sine of theta plus theta. So you can just expand that expression and you're going to get uh, the same term twice. You're going to get sine cosine, sine cosine, sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta cosine theta. So you just get 2 sine theta cosine theta, okay? Now this is one formula. There's another one which is really important for you to know, and that is uh, cosine of 2 theta is going to be equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, okay? So that's another formula. Again, this is called a, the double angle formula. Uh, there's also, if you, you know, if you divide this, then you're going to get the half angle formula. So it's kind of the same thing. It's just an equation. You can rewrite it in different ways. Uh, there's another Another two two other equations that you need to know to you know to approach integrals of this type, and that is there is a way in which you can rewrite an even power of sine in terms of lower order terms or lower order cosines to be more precise. So if you have sine squared theta, this happens to be equal to one minus cosine squared. Oh, sorry, not squared. Cosine two. So cosine of 2 theta, okay? And you're going to divide this by 2, okay? So this is another equation. This is very important. This is extremely important because notice that over here you have sine squared and over here you have linear terms, well, linear in, in the sense of degree 1, okay? Cosine is not squared or anything, so it's easier, it's easier to deal with cosine than to deal with sine squared, okay? So this is a very important formula. And uh, I guess, yeah, I can prove it now, actually. I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, if you move 2 to the other side, I'm going to do it over here, and then I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do it down here so you see the entire thing. Uh, if you move 2 to the other side, you're going to get 2 times sine squared theta. Uh, and then I'm going to move plus cosine 2 theta to the other side, or minus with a plus sign. So plus cosine 2 theta. And we know this will be equal to 1. So this is the exact same equation as this. And now notice that you can rewrite cosine 2 theta as cosine squared. So you have 2 times sine squared theta minus, oh sorry, plus cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. And this is equal to, you know, the trigonometric identity that you already know. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So that means that, you know, this holds true, meaning this is true, okay? So that's a quick, this is a quick proof of this equation. And hopefully some, some, you know, you might have noticed something by now. We can write an equivalent expression of this for cosine squared because actually the, you can use this, almost the same equations to integrate sine and to integrate, to integrate, integrate even powers of sine and to integrate even powers of cosine uh, because the formulas are pretty similar actually. So you have cosine squared theta. This will be the same as one plus, you gotta be careful, minus and plus. Sine has a negative and over here we have a plus. This will be uh, 1 plus uh, cosine of 2 theta divided by 2, okay? So cosine will, so in this case you can rewrite sine squared in terms of cosine, and then you can also write cosine squared in terms of cosine, okay? So both of them use cosine, the only difference is these negative and positive signs, okay? So now how can we use these formulas to integrate this? Well, hopefully you already have some idea. Instead of integrating an even power of sine, well, we can integrate this expression over here, okay? So let me give you an example. Uh, say we have the antiderivative of, let, let's do an easy one, sine squared theta d theta, okay? Now if we have this, we can use this formula in here. We're gonna get that this antiderivative will be the same as 
the antiderivative of one minus cosine of two theta divided by two d theta, okay? And now how can we integrate this? Well, it's really easy to just approach this by integrating each term. So one term we have is gonna be a half. So we know that's gonna be theta, a half. Now, what is the integral? This might be, it may look kind of tricky, but it's actually really easy. What is, uh, I'm gonna write the entire thing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to focus on that. So now we have the integral. Oh well, yeah, that's better. So cosine two theta, d theta. Now you may be wondering, well, how can you integrate this? It's actually really easy. First of all, you could just do u substitution and you would get cosine of a single letter instead of having two times theta. But really you can just do this in your head. What, what, function, well, what function gives you a derivative of cosine? First of all, that's a question you should ask. Well, we know that's gonna be sine, okay? Now if we take the derivative of, I'm gonna say this, uh, what if we take the derivative of sine of two theta? Well, using the term rule, we know that's gonna be two times cosine of two theta, okay? So I'm gonna do it like this. This we know will be two theta minus a half. So if we know that the derivative of sine two theta will give us two times cosine two theta, and we need just cosine two theta instead of two times cosine two theta, well, we just need to divide sine two theta by two, okay? So we're gonna get the following. Hopefully that was not too messy. I was just explaining like, you know, the verbal reasoning you can use, but really this is what you get. You're gonna get sine of two theta divided by two, okay? So think about it like this. If you, do, if you, if you differentiate sine of two theta, this is just gonna be equal to cosine of two theta times two, and the twos will cancel out, and then you're gonna get cosine of two theta divided by two. This final two will not be canceled out. And you get back to the original integrand that you had in here, which is, you know, it shows us that it works, okay? So yeah, in conclusion, and of course we can't forget plus c, in conclusion, we should get that the integral of sine squared theta d theta is gonna be equal to, so what do we get? Uh, minus, uh, that's gonna be over four, wait, is that over four though? Divided by two, oh, did I say that right? Oh yeah, that should be over four, yeah. Because when you differentiate sine of two theta, uh, you're gonna get two times, so cosine two theta, yeah, that works, yeah. So this will be minus sine uh, of two theta divided by four. And then we do plus theta over two, that's a theta, and then plus c, okay? So this is the final answer for this integral right here, okay, sine squared. So yeah, that, that, that's the solution. You can see it's really easy. The only thing you need to do is just to remember these four formulas. We didn't use all of them today, but I'm gonna make more videos where I integrate, I don't know, uh, cosine to the sixth power. And if you wanna integrate cosine to the sixth power, well, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to use, uh, where is it, this formula right here, okay? Because cosine to the sixth power is just simply this expression cubed, okay? And then you can expand that out and you're gonna get a really long integral, but it's really easy to solve, so. You need to know all these formulas. It's very important that you know, especially these two, I think. These two, they're very important. And you know, you can use them to solve inter integrals of this type, okay? Where you have an even power sine or cosine. So yeah, that's been the entire video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you in the following one.